wouldn't it be epic to get some aerial shots over Sydney Harbour right now in this golden light? Well, can't exactly launch a drone here as it is illegal to fly over Sydney Harbour. It is restricted airspace, I'd definitely not recommend it. So what I'm going to do is head to the airport, get on a helicopter with the doors off and go snap happy until the sun sets. So without further ado, let's go. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Isn't that what all the YouTubers do these days? Like, subscribe, comment, you know what to do. All right, here we go. How epic was that helicopter ride? <laughs> in all that excitement, I actually forgot to introduce myself. My name is Chester, otherwise known as Sea Shots on Instagram. And right now I'm gonna talk about the equipment you need to be able to be prepared for the helicopter ride, as well as how to actually capture these shots. So when it comes to the equipment, first of all, you need a camera that can shoot in burst. What I mean by burst is that when you push the shutter, it can actually fire off many many shots in the one second so when it comes to taking the helicopter shots you actually need to spray and pray shoot as much as possible so that you can get the shots that you need secondly you need a fast SD card that can actually read these burst shots there's nothing worse than to actually capture all these shots and just waiting ages for the card to read the photos that you've taken number three you need a wide lens when it comes to helicopter rides there is just a vast view and you want to capture as much of it as possible so a wide lens is recommended. I took the 16 to 35 lens with me to capture as much as possible and if you want a tight shot you could always crop it. Next up you need a camera strap. Normally when it comes to having an SLR you take off the camera strap you don't even bother putting it on because it just looks a bit cheesy and touristy. When it comes to helicopter rides, it's a safety requirement and you have to have that on you. So if you don't bring a camera strap to the helicopter ride and have that on your neck, you're not even going to get on the helicopter at all. So definitely have the camera strap. Lastly, when it comes to the equipment you need, a second camera is highly recommended. Although I didn't really carry a second camera, I actually had the iPhone. So any second camera, just to be able to support your footage in case something goes wrong, who knows? Now, when it comes to actually capturing the shots, first of all, you need to plan. You need to know the type of shots that you want. Have the shots in mind. There's nothing worse than going on a helicopter flight, unplanned, and taking all these shots, firing away, not knowing what you're taking, and walking away with the shots that you're not happy with, and therefore missing out on the key shots that you really want. So I recommend having in your head the shots that you want and letting the pilot know that you want these shots so that he can actually fly and position you for the shots that you need. Secondly, you need a fast shutter speed. When it comes to fast shutter speed, what I mean is anything over one over a thousandth of a second and onwards. Anything slower than that, there's a lot of movement when it comes to helicopters and it will be shaky and, and so forth. You're not gonna capture a sharp image. So I highly recommend you capturing your shots and setting your camera at anything over one over a thousandth of a second. You might sacrifice your aperture setting, you might set your ISO up a little bit higher. What is king is having the shutter speed reasonably fast. That's important. Everything else can be fixed in post. Just make sure your shutter is high. Next tip, check your focus. So when it comes to checking the focus, make sure that wherever your, your square is or wherever you're pointing in focus is actually pointing at the subject matter as well. Because when you're flying, you're moving around, your focus could move, so make sure you're always checking that. 
Next up, flying golden hour. Like right now, it is golden hour. So one hour after sunrise and one hour after before sunset. If you can fly during golden hour, that is ideal because any later in the day, there'll be a lot of glare in the water and you're gonna get some shots that are not very nice at all. Lastly, remember composition. Just because you're on a helicopter ride does not mean the photo rules don't apply. The rule of thirds applies, the leading lines apply, all these photography principles apply. So make sure you have that in mind when you're in a helicopter ride as well. Look for points of interest, look for leading lines, make sure you have the one third rule there as well. Well that's it when it comes to tips. I hope this has been super helpful for you. If you like this video and if you have any comments or feedback or any questions when it comes to helicopter photography, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. This is my very first YouTube video, so it's a bit unpolished and raw, I must admit, but hope it gets the point across. Hope it's super helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you in the next one.